Yo, what's going on guys? And right now we're going to be talking about the Milwaukee Bucks so far in free agency. I personally think they've done a great job. A lot of people will say, oh, they've been quiet. Personally, I think they couldn't, they didn't have a lot of wiggle room, but they made the right moves that needed to be made. And bringing back Bobby Portis, who him and Brooke Lopez is a fantastic rotation. Okay. And they brought in Joe Ingles, another great pickup. Joe Ingles for $6.5 million. He's a secondary ball handler. Javon Carter, he was awesome for them in the playoffs. Good moves. Okay, these are the type of moves that championship teams do. They make little small moves. One year, $6.5 million for Joe Ingles. Then they drop two-year deal for Javon Carter, who was a great late-season addition. And that was those were good moves. But then also bringing back a locker room guy like... Wes Matthews is an underrated thing. I know his numbers were inefficient. And then also bringing back Bobby Portis. All these deals, in my opinion, are big time moves that championship teams do. Four years, $49 million, which is like basically like, what, $13 million a year or something. And I don't even think that's a bad deal for him. I could be off on my math. That's not even $13 million. And I have no idea. I'm not good at math, but what do you guys think of that deal? I honestly think, for me, it was a smart, the, like, similar to the Denver Nuggets. It's not being flashy. It's sitting here and just making sure you have the right moves, that you don't overpay for anybody. You don't you don't break the bank, okay? Because I think that's the problem with a lot of teams. They get to free agency, and they're like, we need to break the bank. We need to break the bank. And when teams don't break the bank, their fan base gets upset. But a lot of times when you you spread the cash around that you have available, like they did right here, signing re-signing Bobby Portis as their most expensive guy with a player option in the fourth year, signing Joe Ingles to help give some depth in you know the the wing position and to give some secondary ball handlers. They you know they extended the qualifying offer to Jordan Wara, who will come back. Javon Carter, another you know George Hill was a little bit over the hill metaphorically. And doing moves like this, I think personally, will help the team in the long run because this is just stuff they need to do. Okay, yeah, Gian- Giannis, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday. You don't you don't win championships by just like your like your star players are a huge part of the reason why you win a championship, but you need the other people to be a part of it. So so far, I personally think the Milwaukee Bucks did a great job to open up free agency they didn't go out break the bank okay they did what they needed they went and bent modest okay and that personally for me i think that's the right way to approach free agency being modest bringing back the guys you know you have established chemistry okay not breaking the bank for anybody just looking out at the scenery okay look we needed these guys we needed those guys how can we improve this team without you know, making any moves that could be detrimental. And that's what they look at Joe Ingles. He was coming off a torn ACL, one-year deal. All right, they have Pat Connington. They have Gray, Grayson Allen. They have George Hill. George Hill's a little old, so he'll probably be the third point guard. So Javon Carter could be the main point guard. Pat Connington, they needed more of a three-point shooter next to Pat Connington and Grayson Allen off the bench. Joe Ingles helps right there, okay? And that's a move I like. Bobby Portis and Brooke Lopez, is, as Brooke Lopez has gotten older, people don't remember how great Brooke Lopez used to be before he became the 3 and D guy that he is now. You know, these are low moves. Wes Matthews, another one. You know, they're just bringing back guys who help this team, you know, culture guys, locker room guys. People don't realize how big those moves are. Let me hear your thoughts down below.